The Smiley J Artist Zone, a platform for and about independent artists, music, interviews, and much, much more. Now, give it up, your host, Smiley J. Welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone, a dedicated space for music creators and comedians. I am your show host, Smiley J, and I want to welcome everyone to today's show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I, you know, I hope that you guys are doing well out there. And uh, I trust that you had a, you know, pretty okay day. And if not, maybe, uh, maybe this show can put a little smile on your face. Yes, sprinkle a little sunshine to my guests. That's what I try to do. Now, um, you know what? Before I go on, I want to take a moment and I want to acknowledge my new listeners. I appreciate my when I get new listeners. Shout out to Italy and Ireland. Thank you, Italy and Ireland, for listening to the show. Keep listening. I appreciate you. And also, why I'm shouting out new listeners, let me uh, let me acknowledge all of my first-time listeners. Now, if today is your first time listening to the show, welcome. I'm glad that you are here, and I do hope that you come back and hang out with me again. As a matter of fact, you can catch the show on your favorite music streaming platform under the podcast section. Just type in the Smiley J Artist Zone, and good news, you can catch up on missed episodes because... All shows are archived. Yes, you can listen on the go. Take me with you to and fro. Yes, that is the beauty of technology. Now, I'm excited because, you know, we're in March, and March is all about celebrating women's contributions. Yes. So, um, you know what? I believe that every woman has a story to tell and have gifts to share with the world. Some are known and some are unknown, but it's okay because we're going to celebrate you because this month is all about honoring and celebrating women's contribution to history, culture, and society. You know what? Just give me a reason to celebrate, and I'm all in. I just love my arts and entertainment pro. Yes, I do. Now, you know, art is present in all aspects of human, you know, human activity and culture. Art, you know, art inspires us. Yes, it inspires us. It, it, it expresses our emotions when we can't. Yes, that's when we tap into, you know, all of you artists out there, you know, to help us be expressive for those of us who are not, you know, creative. Now, for me, art helps me overcome some of some of society ills, you know? You know, art for me just helped me escape. It's like Calgon, take me away. Yes, let's just face it. Art makes people feel alive, yes. So this month, we're going to be celebrating all the women, you know, who are contributing to arts and entertainment. Yes, we got you. We are going to celebrate you right here on this platform. So I do hope that you guys come back, hang out with me, and, you know, you know, get to know some of these, these women who are doing magnificent things, you know. So uh, speaking of magnificent women, Today's guest, let me tell you a little bit about her before I bring her on. Her name is Nia Simmons. Nia Simmons is an international independent recording artist from the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. She has performed as a headliner at notable historical music venues throughout the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area and abroad. She has also shared the stage with the likes of Regina Bell, Howard Hewitt, Melissa Morgan, and a host of others. I'm going to need you guys to help me welcome the lovely and talented Miss Nia Songbird Simmons. Greetings. Welcome to the Smiley J Artist Zone. How are you today? I am doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing well, too. That's a good thing. We both doing well. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Glad to have you here. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Indeed. Now, um, before we start, you uh, you recently celebrated a birthday earlier this year in January, and I, I saw where you received a lot of birthday love from your uh, fellow indie artist friends. Yes. Always a blessing to see another birthday. Isn't that right? <laughs> yes, yes. And I just love all the love that you receive. I just love love. Love. It's a beautiful thing. It certainly is. And I'm definitely thankful again for another year and all the love received. 
uh, on my birthday. It was just a blessing and very much appreciated. Now, speaking of love, you also show a lot of love, you know, supporting independent artists. To all my artist friends out there listening, if you are in the DMV or you're an artist who performed in the DMV, most likely Nia has uh, been to one of your shows. <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? I love music. I love great music. I love great singing, great musicianship. And there's a whole, whole lot of talent in the DMV area. And whenever I can support, that's exactly what I do. Yes, and I, I definitely wanted to acknowledge that because you don't just talk about it. You you are about about it. And I love that. As a matter of fact, I ran into you um, recently at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz Festival. We both were, you know, solo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good seeing you there. Absolutely. So, uh, wait a minute, speaking of shows, I, I think I saw something where you are um, going to be performing uh, this month uh, at the Birchmere. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I will be there at the Birchmere with my dear friend, Mr. Christian De Masonis, also oh. known as Big New York. This is his Birchmere debut. Nice. And mine as well. And it's always a pleasure at any time for me to perform in my hometown. Shout out to everyone in yeah. the beautiful city of Alexandria, Virginia. I was born and raised there. Okay. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so I hope people will come to join us, enjoy some great smooth jazz on Saturday, I mean, excuse me, Sunday, <laughs> March 20th at the Birchmere. Tickets are on sale now at birchmere.com. Okay, you might you might see my face in the place. <laughs> I, hoped, I hope that you do. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, you know what, as a matter of fact, you know, um, Speaking of music and you, you have been like involved in this music game for a while. I mean, you're you're no novice now. To all my folks who don't, you know, may not be familiar, tell us when it all started. Really, let my mom tell it. It started from birth. <laughs> oh, you came out the womb singing, huh? <laughs> Apparently so. And there's many stories, stuff that I, of course, I don't remember. But yeah, I was singing before I could even talk, according to my mother. But officially. Probably the late 90s is when I really started taking music seriously, mm -hmm. so much so that I sought my education from Howard University. Shout out to my yes. fellow bison. H.U. You know. <laughs> I, you know, I have a lot of H.U. folks that, that, that come on the show, a lot of guests from H.U., so a lot of great talent out of H.U. Absolutely. It was definitely a changing point in my career mm -hmm. as a musician. Got my degree there in music business, focused on jazz studies. I was actually a founding member, original member of the vocal jazz ensemble Afro Blue. Yes. Gone on to do amazing, amazing things. Basically world renowned. Now. Yes. So to be a part of that history is just. That's beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Definitely so you. Thankful for that opportunity. Yes, yes. And you actually performed on um, some recordings with Afro Blue. I did. Two of nice. their very first recordings. Yep, sure did. Nice. Beautiful. Now, let me ask you this. Now, did you come from a musical family? I did. I uh, kind of figured that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's basically thanks to my grandmother. She was the uh, choir director and pianist at my church growing up and whether we wanted to or not as the kids and grandkids we had to be in the children's choir we just had to mm -hmm. <laughs> of course of course <laughs> no choice in the matter but I definitely have a lot of fun fond memories uh of her during that time so who gave you the who nicknamed who gave you the name songbird that would have to be another one of my fellow indie artist friends shout, okay. out, shout out to my friend Tony Smith Okay. Uh, who I performed with in a gospel group of his several years back. And he started the whole songbird thing. So I always well, have to give credit to him when people ask that question. Well, that's a mighty compliment just to, you know, give you that nickname, Songbird. Indeed. I hope I live up to it. <laughs> yes. You know what? Your, your, your voice is beautiful. Your tone is beautiful. And yes, you are definitely living up to it. Thank you so much. Now, you have been an independent artist for quite some time, as mentioned. Now, your debut um, project, A song, a Songbird's Journey, like mm -hmm. it, ranked, it ranked in the UK, like on a, on a soul chart. And um, you received a lot of um, like favorable reviews and it was considered for a Grammy nomination. 
Yes, 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 yes. That was a crazy time, a crazy but wonderful time, yes. I mean, that's just beautiful, your your, your debut. Now, I got to I gotta take a, a pause and just shout out my radio folks over in the UK because, you know, they really love up, love up, love up on and embrace us U.S. independent artists, and I think that's a, a wonderful thing. Yes, they really do definitely show us a whole, whole lot of love. Yes. I had no idea how much until I actually got into the independent artist game and released music of my own. They mm-hmm. Always been very supportive, and that yeah, and that, that's a good thing. So uh, my, my folks in uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna say that for another. <laughs> I'll say that for Music Month. So um, <laughs> that project also um, opened up other doors for you, where you, uh, you, which led to a European tour. Tell us yeah. all about how that came about. Well, it came about basically word of mouth and just the notice. Uh, of music and charting on certain charts over in the UK and folks took notice someone made a recommendation to a concert promoter over there shout out to JM Soul Mm -hmm. who put together that tour and that allowed me to promote my album not only in the UK but also in the Netherlands as well Mm -hmm. and that was amazing and it happened during the holiday season I actually got to spend my Thanksgiving not only on stage, but also in a foreign country. That nice, nice. <laughs> but nevertheless, I got some great food. Oh, <laughs> yes. <that> okay. <laughs> and, and and I'm sure you met a lot of friends. Now, are you still in touch with any of the folks from the tour? I am actually. Shout out to. Let me shout out a couple of them right now. Shout out to Kenya, who just uh, released some new music. I don't know if you've had her on your show yet, but. Shout Is that Kenya Johnson? Yes, Kenya. Yes, I gotta reach Johnson. out. Kenya, if you're listening, I'm gonna reach out to you. Yes. <laughs> and also I have to shout out uh another person who just had a birthday not too long ago, Fumilayo and Gozi. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yes. Both of them mm-hmm. are amazing people and artists. So yes, I agree. Gotta show them some love. <laughs> Now, speaking of love, you're always showing folks love. You, you've you also provided a lot of background support for a lot of the independent artists. So some of them are located right here in the Washington, D.C. area. So mm-hmm. uh, you want to you want to give some more shout outs now. I don't want to get you in any trouble if you forget anyone. Oh, y'all know Nia is cool people. So y'all got to blame <laughs> it, charge it to her head, not her heart. So go ahead and shout out some of those folks that you provided um, background support. Girl, I'm not even going to try and remember everybody. Oh, uh, everybody. <laughs> but I will say that, yes, I am a freelance vocalist, even though I am my own standalone artist. I do provide support to others as necessary. Of course, if the opportunity and the price is right. Hello. Is oh, fitness. okay. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Show but, me the coin. <laughs> hey, this is a business, the music business, Okay. Yes, yes. But I also do it for the love of the art. It's not just about the money. If I didn't enjoy it, of I wouldn't course. do it. And background singing is a whole totally different back animal mm-hmm. in itself. Totally different skill set. And it's just something that I love to do. It's all about creating a wonderful musical moment. And some people just don't think about how much background vocals play a part oh, yes. into creating some of the masterpieces that you hear on the radio, having your CD collection, et cetera. It you, is very important. You are so right. And I'm glad you brought that up because I want you guys to think of some of your favorite artists and some of your favorite songs. And I want you to take away those background vocals and, and, and drop me some comments and tell me what you think. Not saying that the leads aren't good because they are, but right. it's a whole different sound. Yes. So, yes, yes. Now, do you provide um, you provide uh, vocal coaching, too? I used to, but I kind of got out of that just to really focus on improving my craft, of course, mm-hmm. and also just trying to put more out, art out there as far as recordings and whatnot. Okay. I now, can, I can mm-hmm. um, of course, recommend some folks. Oh, if people are interested, they just have to hit me up. Okay, okay. Now, um, I have to ask you because, you know, you've performed R&B, jazz. So who are some of your music influences on both the R&B and jazz side or in any genre for that matter? It all started with Whitney. Mm -hmm. It all starts and ends with Whitney Houston for me. 
However, I was introduced later on to the phenomenal artist that was Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, yes. My God. Yes. (laughs) There's nobody else out there to me that can touch her. Some have come close, but Mm -hmm. she's the first lady of song for a reason. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's other artists that I can name, but those are probably the, those are the my two. top two. Yeah, yes. yeah. And and that's what I wanted. I wanted your top two or three. A great, great choices. I, I hear those uh, those names come up a lot in the interviews. Uh, Ella, Whitney, um, Nia, N- Nina Simone. So, yes. Another great one, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, now, I know that you're working on some new music. So can you give us a little, can you give, can you share a little bit of information about your uh, upcoming uh, n- new music and what fans can expect? Because, you know, I got to say, you know, your music and your music has been very consistent. You know, you've been very consistent. So anything, is it going to be a shift in your, you know? Um, not much of a shift per se. Well, I may have a little bit more jazzier stuff on this record, but still going to stay in the neo-soul R&B vein. I hate putting labels on stuff Mm -hmm. as far as music, because really whatever just sounds good and feels good in my spirit, that's what I'm going to put out there. There you go. I like that. (laughs) But if I have to place a genre with it, then yeah, it would be the R&B soul with a touch of jazz. Okay. So just stay tuned. I don't have a release date yet. But. Well, keep me posted. You know what? And come back and release it here. Let, release it right here on the Smiley J Art Zone. Oh, cool. I would love to. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, listen, before you go, um, I want to play a quick little game. You down for a little game? Uh, sure. I found a little bit adventurous. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm glad we all have a little, you know, adventurous side to us. <laughs> so it's called Fill in the Blank, Fit B. Three questions, three seconds. You ready? Here we go. Okay. What is your favorite historical place to visit in the Washington, D.C. area? I want to say Howard U. I have to stick with my alma mater, especially now that they've reestablished the College of Fine Arts. Shout out to them. That's where I graduated from, even though they were a division back then. Mm-hmm. And so glad they named it after Chadwick A. Bozeman. Yes. Shout out. Shout out. Yes. Absolutely. Now, we are, this is uh, we are Women's History Month. Name one of your sheroes from the past or present. I'm going to mention another singer, Lisa Fisher. Shout out to her. Now, mm. talk about someone who's a phenomenal lead artist <sighs> and background. She's performed with everybody, literally everybody yes. across many genres of music. Yes. So. And I love to hear her perform. Oh, my God. You know, what you're going to... Oh, my God. She's... It's, art in motion is beautiful. She's phenomenal. Yes. Okay. Your last and final fill-in-the-blank question. Okay. What was the last song that you listened to? Last song I listened to was Silk Sonic's remake of Love's Train. Shout out to Silk Sonic and okay. Confunction, the original Okay, artist. all right. And I have to say, they did the song justice. I was very pleasantly surprised, yeah. Well, you know what? I haven't heard it yet, so now I'm going to, when we finish this interview, I'm going to listen to it. Yeah, you got to check it out, girl. I, I will. I, I'm so busy listening to all of this great music that these independent artists are sending me. I got, I, I got to stay in tune with the, you know, with the other music as well. So, but don't stop sending me the music, guys. I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. So, I want to thank you so much for hanging out in the artist zone with me today. Now, before you leave, tell the folks where they can keep up with you and all the good things that you got going on. All right. Thank you so much, Smiley, for having me. And to all the music lovers out there listening, thank you for tuning in to stay in touch with me. The main hub, of course, is my website, neasummons.com. Sign up on the email list. If you want to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, my handle is Nia the Songbird. I love it. You kept it real simple. (laughs) (laughs) That's what's up. Not a whole lot of thinking for folks like me. I like to keep it real simple. So again, (laughs) yes, yes. So Nia, I'll see you around because, you know, I'm always running into you. And you know what? I'm going to certainly try to come out and see your debut at the Birchmere, March the 20th. If you guys in the area, stop on through. 
Until next time, peace, love, and much happiness to you. This is recording artist St. James, and you in the artist zone with Smiley J. Let's get it, baby. All right, 
it's that time. Yes. All good things come to an end. But anyway, y'all, you know, we'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Be sure that you guys come back for more music and more interviews as we celebrate Women's History Month. Be sure to celebrate, participate, and watch or host an event that celebrates women, which also includes women artists. You know, like today's guest, for example, Miss Nia Songbird Simmons. Also, be sure to follow her on social media to keep up with everything that Nia has going on. And also reach out to her, you know, if you want for some vocal arrangements. Yes, she does that as well. And also, you know, the drill around these parts. You like what you hear, you download it, and you add it to your playlist. Yes, that's how we get down. Until next time, I'm going to need you guys to be well, stay safe, and remember to listen to good music. Your ears will thank you for it. I'm Smiley J, and I'm out. Thank you.